Hi guys, welcome to Vlogtober Day 5. I am just got off work early, which is nice. Um, it's like 1 o'clock now. Could have gotten off a little early, wait, earlier, but I finished up with note. Today was a good day at work. Made some good medical decisions. <laughs> but I'm going now to see if I can get my hair cut. Actually, and then I think I want to stop by Trader Joe's. I think that's it. But first, haircut. Alright, so I am back from getting my hair cut and going to Trader Joe's. And you can't tell because she like wet it, you know, to cut it. I don't know. They always do it different every time. So now the ends are poofy and can't tell. <laughs> but the length is still pretty long. Um, but yeah, just so it looks healthier. So that's good. I made a cup of coffee because i need it because i'm very tired but yeah it's like about three o'clock now 3 30. um so i just uploaded the last vlogtober from the last one you guys saw thursday from the first to the fourth basically transferred that to iMovie so i can edit it later today but now i'm just going to um relax and watch some youtubes and just chill and drink my coffee for a minute and then I want to sit and like, I scheduled out. <laughs> That's how much stuff I have to do today that like I want to get done. Um, so I scheduled everything out until later, but I'm just gonna enjoy my coffee, watch some YouTubes. <laughs> Seven thirty now and I have read for like an hour and then I edited the first vlogtober so I will link that in case you guys haven't seen it did read some of this and now I'm gonna sit and read for another hour I think so I'm on page 133 now so almost halfway yeah almost halfway and i am really really liking it the mystery keeps growing you have no idea what's going on you um are switching perspectives between different girls so far just two different perspectives yeah one of the girls something happened to her obviously no spoilers but something happened to her and i'm and yeah i don't know i really like that i have no idea what's gonna happen in this i have no guesses i'm just enjoying the rides yeah i'm really liking this guys this is really good just like i thought this was definitely a five star prediction i didn't put it in my five star prediction uh video that i made which i will link also if you want to watch it but this is definitely a book that i had a feeling i was going to love and i am loving it <laughs> guys welcome to i don't even know the date the sixth yes the sixth i am back from work i got back a while ago but i was just chilling and talking on the phone it's like four o'clock now but yeah so last night i did end up reading a bit more of wilder girls i told you guys i'm on page like 157 i'm on chapter 11 so now i'm like officially halfway so i'm gonna try to read as much of this as i can i would like love to finish this book today that would be great i don't have anything else to do i don't have any videos to edit nothing to distract me from finishing this book so i think that's what we're gonna do today Alright, so it is like 8.30 and I read 100 pages of Wilder Girls. I feel like I could finish it tonight, but I just want to relax and watch Shit's Creek and just chill out. Because I am pretty tired, but I am really, really loving it still. Um, there was one scene where I was like, oh, like I literally was like, ugh, ugh. <laughs> Like it hasn't been too um gory or anything like that but there was just one scene where i was like Ugh. i really am loving the like medical aspects like obviously but i love the medical aspects because 
you are getting some bits of them like trying to figure out like doctors and researchers and scientists are trying to figure out what's going on with the talks you're getting a little bit of that um and then i mean like obviously i've said this before but i always think that stories about an infection like an airborne infection or a virus that causes some sort of pandemic uh, it's like one of the scariest things which is like weird to say now because we're literally going through it but yeah i'm loving it so tomorrow we will finish this because i do want to know what's gonna happen oh and then i forgot to mention of course there is the sapphic romance in here it's definitely not like of the main focus it's just a little bit i feel like it's the perfect amount so yes I'm really loving it guys it's really good definitely one of the best YA books I've read in a while all right hi guys so it is Wednesday it's like 1 30 now and just got off work we only had two patients one was a new consult um, but it didn't take long so got off early so it's nice <laughs> no clinic but yeah I do have a lot of things that I need to get done today just like adulting things and then i want to finish wilder girls so i have like 100 pages left so i'll definitely be able to do that and then i need to read some articles that my attending sent us to read so we can talk about spinal epidural abscesses and um staphylococcal scalded skin syndrome just in case you're curious what we're learning about but yeah so i gotta read those articles because we're gonna talk about them tomorrow Wilder Girls, the ending. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know. Huh. I don't want to spoil anything, but I'm definitely going to go look at some reviews to see what people think. It's just one particular thing that I like don't understand <laughs> what it means. I'm sure it's supposed to mean something. I feel like maybe I missed something i don't know so i'm gonna go do some reading <laughs> reading i'm gonna go like see what some reviews to see what people thought about that i liked it i think i'm gonna end up giving it four stars how it all started wrapping up it wasn't as like uh i don't know how to explain it it just didn't quite go where i wanted it to go like i couldn't tell you where i wanted it to go but it didn't go there <laughs> But like I still really really enjoyed it it was strange and definitely not everything was explained at the end for sure don't know like it's very open ending which I don't mind like it's not the open ending that I'm like questioning it's just something that happened to one of the characters that I'm like what <laughs> but yeah I really like this a lot it was definitely kind of not gory but definitely like has some gross elements to it and has the like survival um element to it i need to find more survival horror stories i think i would really like that her writing is incredible like this is her first novel it's pretty crazy this is her first book i don't know how she came up with this <laughs> how in the world did her brain come up with some of this stuff and then this is like her first book that's crazy to me but yeah i definitely want to read her other book and this was excellent if you haven't read it yet and you're curious about it i definitely recommend i could see why people wouldn't like this i loved it i thought it was excellent and a great first october read yeah we did it we finished four out of five stars i really loved it I'm gonna put back my card from the who sent it to me I can keep it but yay all right so I still feel like reading which is like surprising I'm gonna pick up please violent delight this is the book that I'm currently reading let me turn on the light I'm still reading this I'm on page 200 if you saw my last vlog which I will link where I talk about this book these violent delights which is like 
kind of like a dark academia um a dark love story for sure um about these two boys in the 70s they start to form a relationship and it's like one of those super intense where they get up obsessed with each other and they're inseparable and it's like a really toxic relationship but it's going to take a really dark turn into what i have a little hint i don't know what exactly but i'm on page 200 and i'm really really loving it the writing's amazing but anyway so i'm gonna pick this up because i like i said i feel like reading but i don't really want to start a new book yet um and also i was watching Shit's creek which i told you guys i started watching because the last season came out on netflix in the second to last episode I just watched, literally, I kept tearing up. Uh, because if you've seen this show, you know those characters. Like, the family, they just worm their way into your heart. And, oh my gosh, I'm like, ugh. Just so in love with them, and it's just so sweet. Oh my god. And I literally, like, I can't watch the finale. I'm too scared to watch it. I don't want it to end. So I just stopped. I guess I'll just watch the finale tomorrow. But yeah, I literally, I don't want to watch it because I don't want the show to end. That's how much I love this show. It is just so good. I highly recommend. Anyway, okay, that's my Shit's Creek love. Yeah, I'll stop talking about it. All right, you guys, so it is about five o'clock Thursday. I got off work super early. They actually canceled all the med school students rotations until Monday because there's a hurricane coming. And um, I think we're like almost in the direct path where I am and most of my students don't live here, including me. And I think they expected us to go back home. But mine is like long drive from here. Like if I were to go to any of my family who are all in different locations, it's all a pretty far drive. So I'm just staying here because we have to be back Monday and it's not worth it to drive. To, I think plus I have Toby and that's like a whole other thing so I'm staying and I'm hoping that the hurricane won't be that bad I bought like water and stuff so I won't have work tomorrow so I'm, I plan to just sit in and read all day tomorrow have a cozy weekend basically that's the plan I have been reading actually I have been reading a little bit more of these violent delights I told you guys I read some of this last night not that much and I'm reading some now and then I think maybe later we can start a new book I just wanted to keep reading this so I think I'm gonna try to get to page 250 put this down and then we can start a new book read a little over 50 pages of my best friend's exorcism and it's really I don't know it's all right he's definitely just setting everything up so you are kind of getting like the fast track story of the girls from 10 until I think like 16 when one of the friends uh Gretchen gets possessed so right now we're just like you know getting all the little friendship moments and the million 80s references <laughs> there are a lot of 80s references but like i'm enjoying it some of them i like don't know not gonna lie i had to look up a couple things um but yeah so like right now they are older and they just a group of them just like four girls now and they just took some acid so that's what's that's where we are right now <laughs> i like it because it has like some serious tones, but you're also getting like a little bit of the lighthearted tones and then a little bit of the funny stuff. So yeah, I'm really curious how, where this is gonna, how he's gonna handle the actual like possession. Like, is it gonna be actually scary? I don't know, I'm curious. I really want to watch a movie. I think I'm gonna watch Hereditary, which is one of my all time favorite movies, like of all time. and my favorite horror movie of all time. I haven't seen it in a while. If you haven't seen Hereditary, you need to watch it. If you love horror movies, you should watch Hereditary. It is incredible. Like not only is it scary, but it's 
just like filmed so well oh my god and the acting is incredible and it's really more about like grief and with the mom like dealing with loss oh my god the movie's incredible incredible the ending's like a little like eh but again it's hard to end horror well <laughs> o'clock i've been awake for a while now just relaxing chilling and i did read 50 more pages of this this morning so i'm on page 100 of my best friend's exorcism and the girl gretchen is now possessed it's starting off um but yeah this book is really strange very 80s and it definitely feels like a uh an 80s high school movie and then there's a girl who's gonna get possessed. Like the whitest girl, <laughs> like the whitest group of girls in the whitest town, but then they're gonna get possessed. It's just so funny. Yeah, I'm liking it a lot. Definitely gonna keep reading. I feel like I could maybe potentially get this done today since I have nothing to do. So I only read like two more pages, but it's definitely getting a lot darker already. And um, you know how, if you've seen The Exorcist, like the original old movie, and how it had that like dark, sexual, gross stuff. <laughs> it's starting to happen in this book. I think it is gonna be very similar in that kind of nature, like gross things. You remember made her do like gross things and like throwing up and all that stuff if you've seen the movie. Um, yeah, that's kind of happening to the main girl, Gretchen here and she just told her best friend no matter what happens i'll never hurt you so uh, i think she's gonna get real dark and her parents are kind of crazy so i think she's gonna do something to her parents gretchen but anyways i just had to tell you guys because like things just took like a complete turn don't come kid don't come baby look at this idiot fool that you make <laughs> As you saw, I took a break to watch Edward Scissorhands, which is like one of my favorite Tim Burton movies, and it was just as good, but I forgot, or I never realized the white male rage. <laughs> With no writers, characters, like boyfriend, such white male rage, oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, I just love that movie. It's just so, it's just so cute and weird and everything that I love. But yeah, so I took a break and I watched that. But I did finish my best friend's exorcism, yay! So I don't know my rating quite yet. I did really like it. Um, it definitely got like dark and uh, like gory and he definitely wasn't afraid to go there. <laughs> like, you know, it looks like it may be like a, just a fun time, which it was, but it was definitely, he definitely wasn't afraid to like to go there it's like between a three and a four I just felt so bad for abby who is so gretchen's the one who gets possessed and abby's the one who's trying to save her you just feel so bad for her because she's just trying so hard to help everyone out and to like save people to save gretchen but no one's believing her and things just keep going wrong and her life just keeps like getting messed up and messed up and messed up and I just feel so bad for her because she's, she's just trying to do the right thing and help her best friend. And then Gretchen, when she gets possessed, is definitely a bit more subtle of some of the things she does to people, but it was still good. And then, like I said, then definitely gets dark towards the end when you have exorcism and all that stuff. So yeah, I really liked it a lot. It was a, it was a fun time. I am very tired now 
and the hurricane is separating but it's like super windy it sounds really scary <laughs> but it's um you see toby that looks so creepy over there oh my gosh all right hey guys it is saturday i don't know what date i don't know the date the ninth the ninth the 10th just kidding it's the 10th and as you can see it is sunny and nice outside the hurricane passed um, it was like so windy like the building was literally shaking last night but it's all okay now um, but since I spent the entire day in the in the room I need to get out <laughs> so I am gonna go check out another used bookstore that I found and then run some errands like I need to go get my drop off my white coat at the dry cleaners because it needs to be clean I brought my book because um, I was thinking of like sitting outside somewhere where I can find like a nice park or maybe just going to the river that's over here and sitting by it because I think they have like benches. Obviously it's probably too wet to sit on the grass, but let's play some good music. All right, so I am back from my adventures out side and I didn't get anything at the used bookstore they, they had like an okay selection but nothing caught my eye to purchase but I thought I would come I did come up with a rating for my best friend's exorcism and I think I'm gonna go with a four the thing about this book is that I feel like I'm not gonna really think about it again <laughs> but it was still really good and really fun like I said all right so it is later my hair's super pretty because I blow dried it so I can straighten it tomorrow but yeah anyway I read about a hundred pages of these violent delights so I'm on page basically like 350 yeah guys I am really really enjoying it it is just so interesting the main character I I, I don't know if I talked about it in this particular this weekly vlog but I know I talk about it in other videos Paul is like the main character that you're following um you're like in his head a lot well the, the entire time and he's very i don't know how to explain it he just thinks that he's not really anything he doesn't think he's anything special not in a like self-loathing like deprecating he just that's just he just doesn't think he's anything he doesn't think he deserves anything good and then julian is this like bright light who's the boy that he falls in love with the other character people just like gravitate toward him and like complete opposite of paul and paul like just can't believe that julian would like him and so he feels like he constantly has to impress Julian, but Jul but you're slowly learning that Julian actually does care for Paul and like loves him. And so they're trying to prove to each other how much they actually care. And like I said, it takes a really dark turn and it's almost like they're trying to do this. So in college, Julian is studying psychology, social psychology, and Paul is studying like uh, ecology. He likes to study like butterflies and moths and things like that. So they kind of to do this like social experiment and it takes a like dark turn. <laughs> it's really dark and like I said, it's a very toxic relationship. So if you don't like reading about toxic relationships and like problematic relationships, you wouldn't like this. But it's just such an interesting take and like, it's just like, I don't know. I keep taking notes because I'm just so interested in Paul as a character, like you can't like figure him out you can't really figure julian out either which i think is so interesting i'm loving it a lot and we just got past the part where they did the where the dark thing happened and now we're in the aftermath of it so i'm really curious where it's gonna go and how it's gonna end because i feel like the ending is really gonna make or break it how the author decides to go with it but i'm really loving it i already know it's not going to be for everyone if you love dark academia and like pretentious people and like dark romance and toxic relationship and you just like to see how like to get into the psyche of characters and how dark they can get i think you'll like this book it's really good yeah i think i'll just catch you guys tomorrow oh tomorrow's the last day of this vlog so yeah hopefully i can like finish this book tomorrow that would be great i only have like 100 pages left so maybe i can finish this book and then i'll have finished three books in the vlog but let me not speak too soon because i always do that <laughs>
it is sunday the last day of this weekly vlog it's like three o'clock i haven't vlogged all day just because i don't really have anything to say but i did read a bit of my book i'll probably be able to finish it once i come back but i'm headed to the movies to go see tenet finally um if you watch my other vlogs you know that my brother and i were marathoning christopher nolan movies before tenet came out but tonight came out right when I was coming here. So we weren't able to see it together. We wanted to see it together. And we've been trying to see it the same time, even though we're not in the same place, trying to see it at the same time. And we finally are able to go today. So we found my movie starts at 4.10. It starts at four o'clock. So we're finally going. So I'm about to head to that. I'm super excited. I bought my ticket. And so far when I, I bought it earlier, I was the only person in the movie theater. So that will actually be nice if I'm still the only one there. Okay, well, I just got out of Tenet. Um, what? <laughs> what did I just watch? What happened? Okay. I'm back home and now I can give you more uh, up-to-date thoughts about Tenet. So I really liked it. Like now that I'm like out of it for it, like out of the theater for a few minutes, I really liked it. Like I would literally, if it was on Netflix or a DVD, I would literally press play, start it all over right now and watch it all again. I definitely need to watch it again so I can understand what happened because I have no, I couldn't tell you couldn't tell you like, like I get the basic basic idea but the little details and yeah I couldn't that stuff I want to get like I want to understand it's kind of like you know how you feel after every Christopher Nolan film where you're kind of like oh okay sure yeah I yeah I don't get it but it was great <laughs> um so I definitely recommend especially if you're a fan of Christopher Nolan I think you're gonna like it although I heard some people well I haven't heard my brother told me that some of his friends didn't like it and thought it was boring. I'm like, how can you think it was boring? It is a little bit slower than the other, his other movies, even though there's still a lot of action. I do agree that the plot is a, still a little bit slower, but it, I thought it was still really good. Oh, oh my gosh, guys. So they show trailers and they show like a ton of um, really good films coming out. There's this one trailer called Let Him Go. And it's apparently a book. I need to read the book, but guys, I, li I literally got goosebumps watching this trailer and i was just like but i literally got chills it was <laughs> yeah i'm such a film nerd i'm sorry but it was an incredible trailer like i'm gonna link it that's how good it was i'm gonna link it down below you guys watch it it was amazing it was done so well wow it's coming out in november so i mean like if i can't read it before i see it that's fine I am gonna read a little bit more of this. So if I finish it tonight, I will definitely come and update you guys. I will probably just wrap up the vlog tomorrow. Okay, I found the book of that trailer. This is it, Let Him Go by Larry Watson. Never heard of it. It has like a thousand ratings, so not that many people have read it. But oh my gosh, guys, the trailer looked incredible ball and this definitely gives the vibe of it so it's really short it's only 256 pages oh wait it came out 2013 dang it's an old book so hey guys it is the next day monday and i am wrapping up the vlog for you guys i thought i was going to be able to finish these violent delights and give you my final rating but i didn't yeah i thought i'll come up here and wrap up the vlog well, i think that my next vlog i am going to split it because this vlog is way too long doing the week and weekend and i also i write a lot so we'll see um i feel like it's too long i'm sure you guys agree <laughs> i first finished wilder girls by rory power i really love this i gave it four out of five stars i thought this was an amazing ya horror ya excellent amazing writing weird strange and then i finished my best friend's exorcism by grady hendrix again another four out of five stars i thought it was really good as well really fun also strange and it gets dark he's not afraid to have those horror elements 
and uh, yeah, not he wasn't afraid to go there, but also still had it uh, lighthearted and all about friendship in the end. <laughs> Yeah, so I really like this as well. And then I read like 220 pages of these Violent Delights, which you guys know I am also loving. So it's a really good reading week. This one I will probably finish in next week's vlogs. So if you want to hear my final thoughts, look out for that. Or follow me on Instagram because I do post it on my stories when I finish a book and all that stuff. I, it will be linked down below. But yeah, these are all of the books that I read. I feel like it was a really good reading week and like some solid reads. So I can't be mad about it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog October. Let me know what you're up to, what you're reading for October, how's it going, all that fun stuff. And I'll catch you guys on my next one. Bye.